Thank you for being part of the ARIES 2020 Virtual Edition. Are you posting your favorite takeaways on social media? We're on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Don't forget to tag us and use the hashtags, hashtag Guru Summit and hashtag Inspire Innovators. Thank you everyone for listening to our expert speakers. We hope you learned something useful so we can all act together to fight the climate crisis and live sustainably. Now it's time for the 2020 Property Guru Tech Innovation Award. This year's winner will get the chance to be in front of the most influential people across Asia. The winner will also get a digital certificate, profile in the press release, on-site interview on camera, access to our exclusive event photos, interview feature in the Property Guru Property Report magazine, digital banners, and mention in the Property Guru Asia Real Estate Summit white paper to be released in early 2021. It's a PR value worth more than $15,000. Let's thank our panel of expert judges who helped select our top finalists for the 2020 Property Guru Tech Innovation Award. Awards Chairperson, Manav Kamboj, Chief Technology Officer, Property Guru Group. Steve Meluish, Angel Investor, VC Partner, and Co-Founder, Property Guru Group. Jitida Bess Haputpong, Vice President, Business Development, Igloo Home. Matthias Gelber, Director of Sustainability, Global Sustainability Exchange. Nick Myers, Founder and Chief Executive Officer, Red Fox AI. Petra Buer, Global Sales Leader, IBM Chairwoman, IBM Technical Expert Council in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, Dach. Steven Ohm, Value Management Specialist and Sustainability Advocate and Managing Director of Quantum Thailand Limited. Thank you to our Tech Innovation Award judges. Now let's welcome the Chairperson of the Judges of the Tech Innovation Award 2020, the Chief Technology Officer of Property Guru Group, Mr. Manav Kamboj. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. Over the years, technology has completely transformed the world around us and how we live our lives. We now have access to more information than ever, right in the palm of our hands, and at the very moment we need it. Computers are increasingly faster, more portable, higher powered, and capable of processing humongous amounts of data, thereby helping us make better decisions with every passing day. We can see all around us how technology has made our lives easier, better, and more fulfilling. The change is incredible, and most of us cannot imagine a life without modern technology. However, it is also changing how in humans interact with each other, and more importantly, with the natural world. The effect it has on our planet is evident to us more than ever before. And while the advancement in information security has been tremendous, ironically, our data has never been more vulnerable. Technology is also enabling businesses to act more responsibly towards building a sustainable future. The increasing amount of data and insights is allowing us to make better choices in managing our customers' data, in sourcing raw materials, in design, product delivery, and beyond. At Property Guru, we are committed to be a trusted advisor to our customers and partners. We do this by leveraging the power of data and through cutting edge products that help customers make confident decisions and remove friction as they go through their property journey. 
2020 has been challenging in many ways, but it has also accelerated the move to digital across industries. Property Guru is staying ahead of the curve with new digital solutions like Property Guru Finance, Fastkey Storyteller, 3D Virtual Tours, Asia Virtual Property Expo, Asia Property Awards Virtual Gala Series, Asia Real Estate Summit Virtual Edition, and many more. In 2021, we will continue to deliver innovative products that help property seekers find, finance, and own their homes. We will also bring enhanced data insights and workflow automation solutions to drive value to our agent and developer partners. In line with our central theme of spirit of innovation that covers sustainability, green technology, and recovery in a post-pandemic economy, Property Guru is looking for innovators and visionaries through the Tech Innovation Award at the Property Guru Asia Real Estate Summit. These are big challenges and a collective effort is required to scale them. By recognizing these innovative startups, we hope to contribute in building an ecosystem that will take the real estate industry forward. I congratulate in advance the winner of Property Guru Tech Innovation Award and the Property Guru Visionary of the Year recipients, who will be announced in at the end of Asia Real Estate Summit 2020. Stay safe and continue building the future. Thank you. Following our call for entries for innovation in the prop tech sector, the judges have selected the top three finalists based on their tech, the problem that the tech is trying to solve, and the commercial value of this tech. The top finalists are Asmara Urban Resort and Lifestyle Village Incorporated, Brightbee, Kojute, Flint, Rhizome, Rolling Ant, Yuhu Air. Congratulations to our top finalists. Thanks for everyone who participated in this year's Tech Innovation Award. And the winner is Rhizome. Congratulations to our 2020 Property Guru Tech Innovation Award winner. Let's watch this short video from our winner. No one's ever built a bamboo skyscraper before, and there's no mechanical reason why we can't. We just haven't done it yet. Global construction is a catastrophe. The greenhouse gas footprint of buildings is almost a third of total emissions. Areas like Africa, Bangladesh, India, Indonesia will see massive population increases over the coming decades and are where massive construction is going to happen. We need an alternative to wood, steel, and concrete. Otherwise, we're going to hit some major climate thresholds that we really don't want to hit. This is where bamboo shines. Plants are amazing at sequestering carbon and bamboo is the fastest growing plant on earth. It grows at at least 10 times the rate of trees and it can be harvested sustainably because when you cut it down, it just grows right back. And this is a fundamental difference for construction. There's no other material where the more we use it, the better the climate impact. Bamboo is two and a half times the strength to weight ratio as steel. It's got the compressive strength of concrete. And anything that can be built with wood can be built with bamboo and better. Rhizome's mission is to make bamboo engineered lumber a primary global construction material and also plant one of the largest carbon sequestration projects on the planet. We want to sequester at least 10 gigatons of carbon by 2050. That's a big number. That's 1% of all anthropogenic carbon emissions. And in order to do that, we need to scale this operation globally. We're building the first full-scale manufacturing facility in Mindanao in the Philippines. Once we build version one, we can replicate it a thousand times all around the globe. We also need to build a reliable supply chain. So we're working with local farmers and indigenous populations in order to source bamboo in a sustainable way that provides economic and social justice for everyone in the system. So there's never been a bamboo skyscraper built yet, but in a few years, there will be.
We'll now present the recipient of the Property Guru Visionary of the Year Award. Let's call on the Managing Director, Jules. Now, we'd like to honor the leadership and vision of the creator and founder of the Liter of Light Foundation, Elac Diaz. We are presenting Elac Diaz the 2020 Property Guru Visionary of the Year Award for sharing his Liter of Light technology with the world, his My Shelter Foundation's initiatives, and for tirelessly promoting sustainability in Asia and beyond. Your humanitarian tech has helped tens of thousands of households around the globe. It has truly inspired us all. We're very happy on behalf of Litter of Light to receive this amazing award by Property Guru. Although I'm the one speaking to you here, uh, I have behind me an army of people that have made this a success from my co-workers, from the cooperatives in the villages, from our partners in the corporation that took on this lighting challenge. I mean, moving it from a CSR on, you know, on energy reduction into actually getting their employees to build solar lights. And we're excited to be able to expand all over the world. Now, for most of us, sometimes ideas from developing countries are very much overlooked that sometimes we are only on the side of receiving this kind of technology or receiving some kind of handout. So for us to come up with a technology that we have shared uh, and made into a viable business model, a green income model for villages, has been uh, very, you know, something that we have a lot of pride of. But the fact that we have been able to expand it around Asia uh, and around the world has been something that, you know, we are even prouder because uh, technologies from the South can make that difference and we want more innovations not just a litter of light but more young people that see the problems over here in asia that they can come up with solutions that can scale all over the world how many people are living in poverty by being able to come up with case studies where local technologies can go global it inspires so many others uh, from those nations to be able to say we can make a difference instead of waiting for people to solve our local problems. It's inspiring to be from Asia and at the same time to be recognized from Asia. We can and we should be able to make a big dent in the world. I believe that with our business model we have proven that it's sometimes better instead of waiting for a few companies to come up with technologies that can make a difference, we can put these technologies into millions of hands. And these millions of hands can create businesses that can replicate and make it sustainable rather than a handout where it breaks. And we will be waiting again for new kinds of donations. Uh, we believe in the social enterprise model this has emboldened us, strengthened us, but made sure that we can employ more and more people in the field of green jobs, which is not only rising in the, you know, in the developed world, but in the developing world could be one of the biggest business models that has not been tapped. Invest in the people and not just in companies, but invest in something that is scalable and at the same time can be built and enhanced and replicated on a village model. We are very thankful to Property Guru for this amazing award, but we are even more excited because we are your representatives from Asia to the World Expo, one of the largest exposition uh, in Dubai in October 2021. We hope for more partnerships from around Asia to be able to represent ourselves as not only uh, a thriving economy, but a growing presence in the humanitarian field and making a big difference in the world. Your award strengthens us and at the same time emboldens us 
to make more of an impact for energy poverty, the SDG number seven in the UN goals. But at the same time, it emboldens the young people who have ideas or new ideas or better ideas to be able to come forward and be able to capitalize this, that these ideas are valid, these ideas can count, and at the same time, these ideas can go global. Coming from the Philippines, we are very thankful that you have recognized us, but we are part of an Asian community and we're very excited to tell this story in the upcoming Global Expo. For all we have accomplished, this is really a drop in the bucket for what needs to be done to solve energy poverty. Thank you for recognizing Litter of Light as a global climate change hero. Uh, we really believe that we are just a small part of an army of people that needs to do what needs to be done for the survival of the planet, but at the same time to elevate the potential of those living in energy poverty uh, one bottle at a time. Thank you very much, and congratulations to Ilek Diaz and the team from Leader of Light Foundation. The best developer of Asia is... This evening is a celebration. It's the first time in the history of the Asia Property Awards.